What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before I do crack on with today's transfer update, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're now less than 700 subs away from my goal of 28,000 subscribers so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also don't forget as well social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries i am going to be rolling out my daily man city transfer updates throughout the january transfer winter window so if you want to well, sponsor any of them videos then now is a good time to get in contact and get things sorted so any help towards that would be great do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 300 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below what you make of these transfers and lastly this video is sponsored and brought to you by one football this video is brought to you by one football if you want to download the one football app all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description which will take you forward to where you can download this app the one football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me it provides you with the latest footballing news transfer news and the latest videos as well it is one source of information of where i get my transfer news from it also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video in addition to all the great features that one football have to offer they are now offering everybody in the UK and Ireland free match highlights for the Italian Serie A every match week and there's even free selected Saturday matches which are being streamed live on their app the game this week is Sampdoria taking on AC Milan and with no English football taking place this weekend you may as well go and check that one on out you've also got upcoming games including Torino taking on Sassuolo, uh, Empoli taking on AC Milan, Bologna taking on Sampdoria, Atalanta taking on Sassuolo and also Fiorentina taking on Inter Milan and Inter taking on Sampdoria as well there's some of the fixtures that are available to you guys throughout September and October go and check that out Italian football always enjoyable always fiery always feisty one football the place to be free app to download go and use my link to download one football so let's crack on then with this transfer update and of course we always start with the outs and today is no different now we do have an update on taylor harwood bellis now alan nixon says that everton they're having a good look at taylor harwood bellis who is on loan from manchester city at burnley right now and apparently frank lampard at everton is keen on him now any move that would be made would have to be in january at the very earliest may even come at the end of the season if everton do want to make a move and you would imagine that if manchester city were to cancel uh, taylor harwood bellis's loan at at Burnley in January then City would be angling towards a permanent transfer so we await further details of that but Alan Nixon interesting there reporting that Everton having a good look at Taylor Harwood Bellis now moving on to the other outs this is very interesting is Fabrizio Romano uh, given an update on Julian Alvarez now uh, he says that Manchester City had over 10 requests for Julian Alvarez on loan this summer one of them clubs was Brighton and Hove Albion they had hoped to use Julian Alvarez as a potential uh, potential deal breaker for Mark Kukurea back in the summer which obviously never worked out as he joined Chelsea rather than Manchester City Manchester City at no one point even considered loaning out Julian Alvarez City's only focus was to get him into the first team and that is exactly what has happened now moving on to the ins we've got an update on Neymar 
Very interesting, this one. Now, Marsa in Spain say that Manchester City, in the summer, they rejected the chance to sign Neymar from Paris Saint-Germain. No further details were given on that. It was just Neymar was offered out and uh, Manchester City said no. Um, what would you make of Neymar and uh, the sky blue of Manchester City? Would you be happy with that? Do you think it'd be a good signing? Do you think he'd disrupt the team and disrupt the momentum and want to make it all about him and the Neymar show? Obviously, you'd uh, get a big pull, in fact, bring in one of the biggest profile footballers in the world but uh, yeah I think that one's pretty interesting now moving on to the final transfer of this video is an update on Frankie De Jong and I think this is one to keep an eye out for now Frankie De Jong he's liked by Pep Guardiola and Manchester City and there is interest from Manchester City in Frankie De Jong of Barcelona now Manchester City chose not to force the issue and make a move this summer that was down to wages. Man City has spent a lot of money, not so much on transfer fees, our net spend has been brilliant. However, in terms of wages, we're spending a lot of wages for Erling Haaland to bring him into Manchester City and in one window, I don't think Man City wanted to may, uh, sign two big high profile players who are going to be right at the top end of our wage structure. So Manchester City decided maybe with financial fair play in mind, maybe with net spend in mind, maybe Maybe with a business point of view, maybe all of them factors considered together, City chose not to make a move. So it is thought that if Man City do want to continue their interest in Frankie de Jong, then that would have to come next summer, probably not in the winter. And this is all over question marks which have been put over the future, of course, of Bernardo Silva being linked with a move to Barcelona. Still hasn't signed a new contract at Manchester City. That doesn't seem to be any closer. And uh, with question marks over there, there could be the potential even of a swap deal very rare that you get a swap deal but there is the chance that that could happen and also do keep an eye on the situation involving Ilkay Gundogan his contract is up in July uh, of next year uh, so the end of June so by July 1st his contract would be up at Manchester City and he'd be a free agent so it does mean that Man City may be looking at a central midfielder in the next 12 months and Frankie de Jong to me would be a fantastic Ilkay Gundogan replacement if Ilkay Gundogan is to leave Manchester Manchester City. Bernardo Silva is a little bit more versatile than what uh, Frankie de Jong is as Bernardo can play on the left, play on the right, can play through the middle as well. Uh, so we'll see. Definitely one for me to keep my eyes and ears open for. But Frankie de Jong, what do you make of that? Do let me know in the comments below. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. 300 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Plenty more Manchester City content to come. Plenty more Manchester City transfer videos for you guys to enjoy to come in the not-too-distant future as well. Also, don't forget social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries and do go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by one football the link to that is in the description if you want to go and download the free one football app anyone that does download one football using my link does help to support the future content created here on my channel and it does keep these videos coming for you guys don't forget one football getting some exclusive rights with uh, streaming of Serie A football uh, so yeah do go and check that out Sampdoria taking on AC Milan on Saturday live exclusively in the UK on the One Football app so do go and check that out One Football will keep you up to date with all the latest football news transfer news the latest scores results statistics live league tables and all your good footballing needs in my opinion the best footballing gap out there so do go and check them out that would be much appreciated and I'll see you guys again very very soon for the next Manchester City video we are expecting the Dortmund game to go ahead so we'll have all the build up to that uh, towards the beginning part of next week for you guys to enjoy uh, the game between Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur if you didn't know has been postponed this weekend uh, due to the passing of the Queen here in the United Kingdom as the country enters into a period of mourning so we're waiting for more details on what that might mean for the football uh, fixture calendar and for Manchester City we don't have full details we just know that this weekend's uh, match 
matches uh, all off in England and uh, in the UK I think as well so uh, yeah we'll have to build up to the uh, Champions League game in midweek which uh, at the moment does go ahead and I think it is going to go ahead as well so uh, yeah I'll see you guys for the build up to that uh, so I'll see you again real soon so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now